Hey, what's going on guys? It is Lasty here and welcome to FIFA 15 if chemistry never existed. Now, this is a bit of a different video. It's actually a response to a video that R9 Wright or Danny, however you know him, uh, made the other day about what would you build? What team would you have if chemistry wasn't a thing on Ultimate Team? Now, first off, if you guys are looking for any Ultimate Team coins, check out the FIFA shop.co.uk. Use my code LA5TY. That'll get you a 10% discount, and the link you need is down below in the description. So, uh, there'll also be a link to Danny's channel down below. Thank you for the idea, and uh, this is my response to you, bro, and this would be my ultimate team on FIFA 15 if chemistry wasn't a big deal at all. So, in gold today we start off with Peter Schmeichel. He is without doubt one of the best goalkeepers we've ever seen on ultimate team. Just look at those stats, they're crazy. He's not actually out on ultimate team just yet. I'm hoping that he comes out soon because we want to get some use out of them, or all of these legends, but you know, that aren't actually released yet, before FIFA 16 comes out, man. What's going on, EA? Um, but Peter Schmeichel looks to be the only keeper in my eyes that could possibly be better than Manuel Neuer on this game. 93 reflexes is his standout stat, and the big Danish monster, I reckon, will be one hell of a keeper on Ultimate Team. Moving on to my defence then. We start things off with a silver. My right back would be Dijkmeier or Dijkmeier, however you pronounce it. You guys know that I absolutely love this chap on Ultimate Team. There's no one better in my opinion. Even though he's silver, I think he is the best right back in the whole of FIFA 15. It's crazy. I'm pretty sure Danny used uh, Kyle Walker, who would probably be a pretty close second to me, to be honest. As you can tell, it's all about pace uh, in that right back spot. Moving on to centre-backs, my first would be Jerome Boateng. You guys know I've got a little bit of a thing for this man uh, on FIFA 15. He is my favourite centre-back. He's got great pace, amazing defending, amazing physical. He's really tall. He's pretty much just got everything you need in Ultimate Team um, to be classed as a god. Uh, and therefore... I love this man. He would 100% be in my starting 11. Then next up, we've got Thiago Silva. Another very quick player with incredible defending, great physical, uh, and overall just a solid player. Him and Jerome Boateng as centre-backs, that would be pretty deadly. And I, Well, you know, you're not going to get through it. It's rock solid. Um, I would definitely choose these two players over possibly even like a legend centre-back, just because I know that I get on well with them day-to-day -day and that they're awesome. Now, moving on to left-back today, we've got this guy, Bremer. If his picture ever loads, there we go. Um, he is not actually released yet on Ultimate Team, but I think this could be a card that rivals, if not is a little bit better than... Roberto Carlos. Now, I know that's like that's a terrible thing to say. Everyone's got so much love for Roberto Carlos, and I do too. I think he's amazing on this game. He looks incredible. But this guy, I've, if I'm correct, has got a five-star weak foot and also has like high 80s um, in, the, in the long shots, early 90s in the shot power. He's got some crazy stats uh, and also amazing pace, amazing defending and amazing physical as well. He looks to be one hell of a card and I cannot wait until EA release him at left back or left wing back, whatever his standard position is. Now moving on to the midfield then, at CDM in a 4-1-2-1-2, I think Yaya Toure is one of the most perfect players you could possibly have. And nowadays on Ultimate Team, he's got some decent work rates and I would even play him at Cam um, because he's one of those box to box midfielders you're going to see him up the pitch but he's also going to make sure he's back in defending you know he's got that 80 defending and then more importantly he's got that 90 physical he's a real presence in the midfield and Yaya Torre definitely goes into my squad next up we've got the second in form Iron Robin at right mid you guys know I love a little bit of Robin on ultimate team he's class so his second in form has got to be amazing right 94 pace 94 dribbling and 91 shooting I imagine this guy's going to get more in forms possibly a team of the year and a team of the season along the way. So uh, he's going to be one of the most decorated cards on FIFA this year, that's for sure. Next up, we of course, of course, we've got Cristiano Ronaldo. Now, when Danny did this video, he put the 94 striker version up front in his squad. Now, that's fine. I, I imagine he's an absolute god. But I've got two strikers that I could not... I could not budge. I could not put Ronaldo up front because I want him out at left wing. He'll do an amazing job out there. And there's nobody else that I could find uh, on a left wing sense of things who would be a better better position than Cristiano Ronaldo. This card looks insane. 94 pace, 92 dribbling, 95 shooting. 
What more can I say? Cristiano Ronaldo, ladies and gentlemen. Moving on to the central attack in mid spot. Has to go to Rude Hullet. Rude Hullet is like a little bit like some of the other players that I've mentioned today. Absolutely built perfectly for FIFA Ultimate Team. He's high rated. He's he's tall. He's got this sort of big hairdo as well, which seems to make players taller on Ultimate Team. He wins headers, all of that good stuff. And his stats are just off the chain. They're ridiculous. He's so quick. He's got four-star skills and weak foot. He's basically... I, I'd play him CDM all the way up to striker. You guys know that I love a bit of Rude Hullet, and he is 100% in my squad. Now, let's go to the striker, shall we? First up today, we've got Patrick Cliver. I think you guys knew that one was coming, because... Let's face it, I've used him more than anyone in a legend sense, and I think, once again, he's built perfectly for Ultimate Team. He's got amazing pace, he's nice and tall and strong, he's got incredible finishing, and he's also got the four-star skills and weak foot that you need on Ultimate Team to just be able to, to skill past a player or two every now and again. Uh, and uh, I just feel like the ball drives itself into the back of the net when using Patrick Clivert. And then our final player of the starting 11 is this guy, record breaker Lionel Messi. I've heard some amazing things about Messi this year, and this is his best card to date. He definitely needs to go up front in my team. FIFA 15 is all about Messi. It, the gameplay, the style of play uh, is set up for players with the incredible pace and dribbling, which Lionel Messi's got. And of course, he knows where the back of the net is, and he's going to finish it. Nine times out of ten, or let's say 9.9 .9 times out of ten. Um, and this, this is the entire entire squad as you can see on your screens right now uh, we've got a subs bench going on here with a few players that should be mentioned we've got Manuel Neuer who if uh, if Schmeichel wasn't about I would probably stick in goal then of course we've got Roberto Carlos how can you not have Roberto Carlos uh, we've got Maldini as a possible centre back but as I said I'm so comfortable with Thiago Silva and Boateng that there's no way I would replace them in in my FIFA 15 ultimate team if chemistry never existed then we got Paul Pogba's informed card Amazing stats. He's like a Yaya Torre and a Hullet combined, but just slightly, slightly worse. Um, and then we got Gareth Bale. It's it's so close between me nearly putting him at right mid instead of I and Robin. But I've I've used Robin a little bit more, and he's class. And I love him, <laughs> so he's getting in the squad. And then Luis Suarez, I've packed him a couple of times, and I think he is one of the best strikers on this game. A little bit like Messi, but. Obviously not quite as good. He's got the pace. He's got amazing dribbling. And he can finish as well. And then we've got Pele. Pele has to be on the bench at least. Uh, a lot of people would put him in their starting 11. Um, but when I used him, I only used him in FIFA 14 Ultimate Team. He was really good. But there's other players that I would prefer over him. So he goes on the bench as a notable mention. But that basically would be my Ultimate Team if chemistry never existed on FIFA 15. Ultimate team. So, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to go and subscribe to Danny over on his channel, R9 Right, and watch his video, see what his Ultimate team looked like. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed, guys. I've really enjoyed making this because you see a lot of cool players that you can use on this game. Uh, thanks so much for watching. You can use the FootWiz Custom Squad Builder uh, to make your own and tweet it at me at LA5TY lastly on Twitter. Uh, I thank you so much for watching, boys, and I will catch you next time. Peace.